have a type, and the type is decanter. Hi, all and welcome back to my channel. And welcome to another witchy glass and other shiz type haul. I have a job. I am gainfully employed. I will be able to buy some things without feeling absolutely terrible about it. And also without being in fear that I then won't be able to pay my bills, which is a really nice feeling. But today I have got a haul for some nice thrifted glass that I've got, as well as a few other things that are like witchy related witchy aesthetic type whatever that aren't thrifted glass that I thought would just kind of round out the video. Now, I, like I said, I'm employed. I'm not going to go ham, but I do feel like I'm just so, like I almost cried because a friend of mine was like, hey, somebody quit at this job that I have. Is someone, does someone want it? And I was like, I want it. I want it really, really bad. And I got the job and I got it in time that I will actually have money available for buying spooky things that I don't need. But it'll be buying spooky things that I don't need not with money I don't have because I'll have the money. It's just, it's a really, really nice feeling. And it'll be good getting back into the YouTube because part of why my channel was stressing me out so much was because it was my only source of employment, my only source of income. So now that I have normal adult money to pay my bills with and buy a little bit of something something, here we are. I've got stuff glass from a couple different places. Like I said, I got a couple other things, whatever to show y'all. So let's just get into it. I'll start with one of the things that I got at Goodwill. Most of you probably know if you've watched um, another one of these, I will leave my other ones linked down below. I believe I've done two on my channel already, which some might say is too, too many. But I absolutely love decanters. I love the spooky, deranged alchemist sort of aesthetic. At some point, I'm going to be reorganizing, redoing my background, and I'm going to be incorporating a lot of my glassware into said background. But this is one that I got at Goodwill for four, four dollars. The one thing about like decanters, uh, even at Goodwill and when you're like uh, thrifting or antiquing, they can kind of like want to charge you a premium just because of like what it is, not if it's like actually old or rare or antique or vintage, you know, they're just like, oh look, here's a fancy whatever, let's slap $13 on it. That's just sort of a thing within the market of this stuff. But this one, I picked it up, I went over and I was like, $4. Four dollars. I think it was some kind of, it doesn't have any branding on it, but I think it definitely had something in it because it has like this little grape engraving motif here. And then on the other side, it's got a crown, which I actually thought was really cool. I thought it added a little bit of something, something to the design. If any of y'all have any idea, definitely let me know down below. Like I said, I'm trying to be more learned about glass and how to identify the shiz and all that kind of stuff. It's got really, really nice detail. It's got like this diamond pattern here, then these flat surfaces here, more of the diamond pattern, and then a really nice little stopper on it. I just thought it was really pretty. And like I said in my last one, I love anything, anything with a stopper, anything with a lid, anything that opens and closes. I absolutely love for whatever reason, just something about it. And this was just, I was like for $4. This is a really nice addition to my decanter collection. Now, one thing that's kind of funny is my dad, I feel like he's pretty supportive of like this interest of mine. Like he would so much rather I do this than makeup and the gothic clothes and other stuff that I like to buy and hoard. And he also likes this kind of stuff too. He likes finding crystal at thrift stores. He likes finding really cool, nice things. And so I think it was that trip that we were out when we went to Goodwill and they found a really nice piece of crystal that dad was like, oh, do you want it? And I was like, no, that does nothing for me. You guys can have it. And then he was, I don't know even how it brought up, but he's like, oh, now that you like collecting weird glass, you're gonna want my pineapple bottle. And I was just like, what the? Frig is a pineapple bottle. And then a little bit later, like he mentioned it and I was just like, okay, whatever. And then a little bit later he showed it to me and it's a bottle 
that's made to look like a pineapple. It's built up of all these little these little sections here and it's got like they're not all just one size they got different little sizes and shapes so it really is a unique and integrated design and he showed it to me and I was like oh yeah that's cool and then he walked away and I was like here and he's like no you can have it and I was like god bless thank you so I have my dad's pineapple bottle, which I have no idea. I'll probably end up putting like moon water or some shiz in it, which will make, you know, his eyes roll in the back of his head. This had something in it at some point. I have no idea what, cause he was just like, cause dad, he got it and he used up whatever was in it. And my dad being the, you know, magpie that he is, it was like, well, it's too nice of a bottle to, I mean, you don't want to recycle that. It's a pineapple. So I was very happy to inherit said pineapple bottle. Then at one thrift store, which I I definitely got a bunch of other stuff at uh, and it is a prime example of thrift stores are only as good as their surrounding neighborhood. I hate to say this but this is why when you see some people on like TikTok and they're showing you all this shit and they're like oh look at this and look at this and look at all this crap and everything and then when you go to yours you can be disappointed because if they're in a more affluent neighborhood then they're likely to get more I don't know high-end fancy stuff like I said they're only as good as their supply basically and so we went to this one and I got this really beautiful pretty cruette now I know what they're called and what they're for not that I'm ever gonna use them for anything but I like it. And it was just, this is like the exact absolute perfect example of a cruette. It's got this beautiful little like beautiful little multifaceted stopper going on here. I think this was like seven bucks. Their prices were a little bit kind of hitting more on like retail almost a little bit. They're a food bank um, thrift store that helps people with domestic that sort of thing and people who are having in recovery programs. So I'm absolutely fine giving my money to them probably more than I am to Goodwill. So paying a little more I didn't mind. And it's got that little, it's got these like little facet sections here and then it's got that star pattern that you all know that I like. And like I said, it was just this perfect little, this was the first thing I saw while we were there and then mom and I, she and I cleared that whole place out but while she was looking at other things I kept finding more things. This one I really liked because it was absolutely beautiful and perfect. Then the next thing I found at the same place was this absolutely beauteous crystal decanter. Now this one was a little bit pricey pricey. I believe it was like... <sighs> It was over $10, which like when you're used to shopping Goodwill or while I was at DI where the max price was like five bucks, you're like, this is so much. But I went online and I looked up because that's one thing that I try to do is look up prices of things and like just because it's at a thrift store or just because it has that price on it doesn't mean it's like a good deal. And I saw similar crystal decanters unmarked kind of in the same vein going anywhere from like 20 25 to 50 bucks. So I was like, yeah, this is a good price. And it's really pretty too. It's got this beautiful, beautiful design. And then it's got these like, I don't know, this like piping detail going up here. And then we have the ever so beautiful, also multifaceted stopper. Now it does have a little bit of a chunk taken out of it on the stopper but it does not interfere with where the flat sides go against the, the neck of the bottle. So it doesn't have any issues with closing or anything like that. And it's just, just so stinking pretty. It's just this absolutely gorgeous. Definitely when I have a place of my own and I've got like where I can have like shiz on display, this is gonna be one of the things that's just like, look, Behold, my beautiful, glorious glass. And like I said in my last video, when it comes to this kind of stuff and it comes to me bringing it into my home, even if I'm not using it for my altar, I cleanse my shiz just in case there's any kind of something, something, any kind of vibes that I don't want 
where I live. I want to bring that negative energy shiz into my home. I got enough of my own negative energy that I don't need anyone else's negative energy. It's just really stinking pretty. I just noticed the inside of this is actually hollow, which is really, really pretty. I will file down these edges just so that they're not a finger hazard. But for someone who really, really likes decanters, this was just, like I said, again, a nice addition to my collection it was just so pretty got this at that fa at that same food bank thrift store so i'm really okay with where my money is going i volunteered there before so absolutely fine with all of that and this was just as nice and hefty it's got good weight to it got beautiful lines it has a good look to it just absolutely beautiful and i'm very happy to have it in my life and in my collection now. Then sort of the funny thing while my mom was, they have like a couple different sections in this. Uh, while my mom was in the back section looking uh, through the books because that's her shiz. I was just like continuously looking through the glassware and I always say if you're out hunting for whatever, make more than one pass. I kind of do like a regular pass and I find whatever things and then I hunker down a little low, make sure there's nothing hiding back behind that I couldn't see before. So while I was doing all of that, uh, I, I happened to find another absolutely beautiful specimen of a decanter. I really, really like this one. It's got this really cool, almost like, can you see it? It looks kind of like um, a Greek pattern or a Roman pattern that you would see on the their pottery. It's etched in there, so it's just really really stinking pretty. Then it's got these really nice lines going on here. I think these is this fingertip or something like that. Again, I really like cool glass, but I'm not necessarily well versed in terminology and shiz. But it does have that really cool thing going all the way around it. I love the more rounded um, bottom to this. The other ones have been kind of like straight up and down or like a little bit flared and then down. This is the first one that I have that has this just really round bottom. And I love, love the stopper on this shiz. Look at all that beautifulness. This is some sort of something something out of the Labyrinth movie. I just, this one was just you know, like I found the one and I was like, yay, I found the cr cruet and I found a decanter. This was such a good whatever. And then I found this one. I was like, oh boy. Like it just kept getting better and better. And this one was only $8. Oh, I also forgot. It also has etched into it. I don't know if you could see. It's got these little teeny tiny stars that make it look really like witchy and ethereal and cool doesn't have any um no imperfections no like little dings or whatever going on here i just thought it was just i mean i see any i, I say the same thing every time i just thought it was really pretty and cool i mean that's just i see a decanter and i'm like i don't think i've seen one that I haven't liked. It's just a thing. I have a type and the type is decanter. Then even more, as I'm going around and hauling around in this place, I found another one. And this is what I mean with um, different thrift stores having varying stock depending on the surrounding neighborhood. There is thrift store, although you might look at it and be like, oh, well, it's just a, a little food bank thrift store. It's in um, a town where I live called Warrington, which Warrington and surrounding the surrounding area is a much more affluent area like we have rich people living all up in that shiz and so it's the type of thing it's like oh okay dead grandma's decanter didn't sell at the um estate sale so we'll give it to these people and then people like me will buy it and this one has a really cool ship motif i'm usually not a nautical motif type person but i thought with the decanter it was really cool you know maybe you imagine that this was like a captain's decanter on a ship or something though probably not because it would have been disgustingly impractical and break i don't know much about you know ship wearing fairing whateverness if you do let me know would they have a decanter on a ship it's got this beautiful glorious stopper um i'm not even going going into all that right there but this is something that you could really i like a uh, houseware that doubles as a weapon. Now I understand anything and everything can be a weapon if you whatever, but I like things that 
easily made into a weapon. Like someone coming up behind you and say, wham! And after you wipe the blood off of it, you're just like, Back on the shelf you go. Just thought this one was super pretty, super unique. Obviously something that I don't have already in my collection. So I got one, two, three, four, no, one, two, three decanters from that place. We'll definitely be returning because this, like this was the most, like I hit the jackpot. And then I also found this little beauty right here. Look at it! You guys know, I love decanters, I love cruettes, I love perfume bottles. This is my shiz, and I believe this was $3 for this beautiful, absolute gloriousness. I think this was like the second or third thing I found, and I was just, whoa, I was on a roll. Obviously, I just thought it was so pretty. It's nice and heavy, but I don't think it's crystal. I'm pretty good at telling the difference between glass and crystal. Crystal is usually like just a bit brighter, a bit more vibrant. You can see really well through it. It's just got really good clarity, hence the term crystal clear. But it was just, just so beautiful. I, at first I thought when I saw it, I was like, oh boy. And then I thought it had like a break here, which would have been a deal breaker for me. But it's just the way that that comes to an end on the sides. I liked it. I thought it looked kind of floral, sort of maybe rose-esque. And like I said, it was three dollars. One of the best three dollars I've ever spent. It's so pretty. It sits in a place of glory over with my crystals over there. Just absolutely stinking beautiful. And this is one thing that I was like going through and there was a shelf I had to look back in on and I looked back in on it and I was like, I'll see you. And it was $3, absolutely perfect. Then one of the last two things I got wasn't glass. This was actually, they have a back room where I think they put like stuff they've had for a while and it's, you fill up a bag and the bag is five bucks and I saw this! How absolutely perfect! It was, I was just going through not expecting to find anything and then I was like, oh look, a beautiful moon-shaped box to put all kinds of stuff and something on! It's actually going to be going somewhere on my altar, like I keep saying, I need more space <laughs> for my altars. They're just like a little crammed, a little packed. They haven't told me that they've got issues with that just yet, but we're getting a little, getting a little tight over there. But like I said, it's just absolutely, it, it, it's a moon, guys. It's, it's my aesthetic. It's spooky. It's witchy. It's celestial. And it probably ended up being like 10 cents because my mom was filling up a bag and I said mom look it's just I put it in the bag and I put it in the bag and it's just all kinds of pretty I haven't decided if I'm going to try to take out the lining because the lining's kind of janky kind of ganky I'll try to clean it first and then take it from there but it's just a nice beautiful little silver moon shaped box like just absolutely like this is like Yes, the epitome of like looking for witchy shiz at thrift stores. This is it. Then the last thing I got was just this pretty amber glass heart dish. It's got really, really pretty raised design there. I got this for Freya's altar. I'm not sure why, but I've been really drawn to amber glass for her altar. So this just sits up there and I put little things all up and down. And this was $3 too. I was like, which is nice because amber glass is one of the colors that tends to be more expensive. So for three bucks, I thought this was a really good thing for her altar. And then we went to a, they're kind of like a thrift store antique place. Um, I got off my shift at work at like three and I was like, hey, I want to check this out. Um, I haven't been in there for a while. Let's go, let's go check that shit out. And the first thing, well, maybe not the first thing. It was kind of behind the, it was like behind the computer that was like the register computer. So I was like, after we'd gone through and mom had picked out her stuff and my stuff, I was like, can I ask how much that little well, not little. Can I ask how much that decanter is? And apparently it did have a price tag on it and I just didn't see it. It was pricey. 
This was 20 bucks. It is crystal. It is a older one and it is absolutely beautiful. It's got this fingertip and beveled design here and here all up on the stopper. It is hefty. This is my hefty, chunky boy. It was just absolutely beautiful. I love just like the, the <laughs> whatever this design is, just the way it kind of like a bag of water or something. I was willing to pay the 20 bucks because I just liked it so much. It was a crystal one. It's in really freaking good shape. No flaws, no nothing, looking all kinds of beautiful. I mean, this was one that when I saw it, it took my breath away. And so I was just like, you gotta, you gotta, oh, just Oh, what a beautiful sound. I just told it, you're gonna have to come home with me. I haven't figured out where I'm gonna put it because he's got a wide butt. <laughs> so that kind of, um, like I said, I'm living in like a one bedroom apartment right now until I figure out nursing school. So we're kind of whatever on shape, on, on, on room, but it's just, it's just so, so beautiful. And then while we were checking out, I looked up and my eyes beheld a pale rider, more like a green rider, and I saw this! Look at this! Look at that! I love green! I absolutely love green! Now, I am unsure if these two pieces go together. This was $10, and I was like, for $10, I'll take a whatever on it. So I have no idea if this is some kind of crate and barrel, um, bath and body work, some kind of something, something, and then this they put on it. The color is pretty much the same. I'm not sure about, like, because this is like a flower and butterfly motif and then this has just got dots on it. I need to do some research. I love the color. I need to redo the stopper. The stopper clearly had cork around it that was then wrapped with tape that has since deteriorated a significant amount. I have looked up videos on how to do that so that will be a project coming in the future but it's just a really pretty green thing. I mean you guys know how I feel about green glass. It's my shiz. I haven't decided if this is going to be just a decorative piece or if I'm going to try to use it with Loki. I kind of didn't get Loki vibes from it. I didn't think he was a flower butterfly motif type person and if he was it would I think it would be a little bit I don't know, more, less child? I don't know. Just didn't really speak Loki to me, so we'll have to see. I mean, for $10, I just thought it was really cool. I don't have it sitting anywhere because it's long and tall and wobbly, and I have cats, and my cat Sebastian is very attracted to things that could potentially fall over. Then, also from that place, we had these two cute little Wedgwood plates. Y'all should know. I don't know if I can see. There you go. Y'all know I love me the Wedgwood. This is the the Wedgwood Collector Society little plates. I liked them because I like the whole head bust look. And they were $7 each, which isn't bad at all for Wedgwood. I actually had one of y'all who lives in like, and it was like, I'm over here. It's so cheap over here. You want Wedgwood? Come over here. And I was like, if I had the money, I would go over there. But for now, we just find it at thrift stores and such. Next up are a few things I got from Marshalls. Um, it is the start of spooky shopping. The first thing I saw it and I was like, oh, that's real cool. That's real cool. And it was kind of funny because I usually don't have that visceral of a response to like this sort of thing. But I saw it and I was just like, oh my goodness. And I picked it up and I saw the price and I was like, yeah, I'll probably come back and get it. And I put it down and then mom picked it up and she was like, I'll get it for you. And I was like, you are the kindest being on earth. And it was this big, giant, a glass vase, I guess you could say. A vase, a holder for things. I'm probably gonna try to find some like really pretty orange flowers because purple and orange is a color combination that I really enjoy. One thing that I thought was cool about this is it's got this little sticker and it's by uh, Vidrio San Miguel. 
It is 100% authentic recycled glass, handmade in Spain. I obviously actually have no idea about the sustainability of this sort of thing, but I do appreciate the fact that it is made from 100% recycled glass. That is something I can get behind. And I just thought it was really stinking pretty because it's this big, beautiful, glorious, purple vase. There was actually an orange one that's smaller than this that if they still have it when, you know, my money comes around, I'd probably like to get. But until then, or if I don't, I only have this purple one and I absolutely love it. And it was a very nice present from my mommy, which makes me very happy and love it even more. Next is something from Marshalls. Again, they're starting to kind of put their spooky shiz out. It'll probably be past spooky season by the time this goes up because I have another glass haul that I filmed but I haven't put up yet. But it was this really cool, that's gonna be real hard to show. It's this really cool tray going on right here and it's got the sun and the moon and stars all around it. This is for Freya's altar. She actually has another one of these that I got her at Marshall's as well, I think. It may have been TJ Maxx. One of those affiliated stores, and it's got moon phases on it, and I thought this was just, I just thought it was so pretty. I put crystals on it, and it looks all kinds of nice, and I think this was only like, it was $12.99, which I don't think is a bad price. Obviously, I got it, but I just thought it was really stinking pretty and a really nice, you know, like witchy again. This is kind of like the aesthetic, the things I'm looking for, the things I like to find. Then, last but not least, also from Marshalls, my mother, who obviously, as you know already now, is an amazing, beautiful, wonderful person who treats me very nicely. And she got me some jewelry because we went to Marshalls right after uh, I had the job interview for the job that I have now and I found out I got the job. And so she got me these as kind of like a congratulations on your job. And the first thing we found were these Betsy Johnson. I love Betsy Johnson. And they were these adorable pumpkin earrings. They're just so stinking cute. They got orange and the little green stem. One of them's a little he <laughs> he face and one of them's a happy jack-o-lantern. They were just so freaking cute. And then as we were looking at that, I saw this, which is a big ginumbus gaudy kitschy pumpkin of a necklace. Which my mom wasn't too like, she wasn't too like, she was like, eh, I like the earrings better. And I'm like, yes, but you have the earrings and the necklace and it's matchy matchy. Cause y'all know how I like being matchy matchy. It comes on a 32 length chain, which I am definitely going to change out because I like things sitting more up here than down here, mostly because then you can see them while I'm filming and I'm just not a long necklace type person? I don't know. I'm weird, but it's just, look at him. He's so handsome. He's so happy. And I love the, like, the, 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 the spider web, uh, box going on here. I was like, oh, that's so cool. They're really nice boxes too. So I may have to repurpose them to put, I don't know, something in. Then lastly, because my mother is an absolute Angel, she got me this beautiful, beautiful Druzy Quartz necklace right here. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? It's funny, because typically I haven't been, I'm not a person who's drawn towards this kind of jewelry. Usually I'm like the bigger the better, but for some reason I've been really drawn toward like stones and things like that and pendants of the like, and this was just so pretty. I've always loved the look of Druzy. I want to get like some rings. There are some Etsy shops that, uh, some small businesses I want to support that I found on TikTok. And this was just, just, it was just so beautiful. And my mama got it for me because she is a beautiful person. All right, there we have that collective glass and other things haul. You'll probably get one spooky collective haul. I'm not planning to go ham like I did last year. If you want to see that, I will leave that link down below. 
I just want to get, I've been paying close attention to like TikTok videos of what's in varying places. And I'm kind of like, okay, I want that and that don't need that. So I'm trying to be a lot more selective this year about what I get. So probably mid October, you'll get some kind of collected spooky Halloweeny, whatever haul. I want to say thank you. Like I always do to all y'all who have supported me kind of going into this new and different venture. It just makes me so happy to be able to share kind of these sides of me, my other interests. So thank y'all so much for that. And thank y'all so much for watching. I love you. And as always, keep it real. Mmm.